Hello and welcome to part two of section two in the IT asset management, software asset management specialist certification training. So let's begin with compliance. We see here the various types of compliance and compliance is a very common word. I'm sure you understand it. Compliance enforcement, as we see here, responsible for ensuring compliance with licenses, agreements, terms, and conditions. There are three types of compliances listed here, licensing compliance, security compliance, and policy and procedure compliance. Licensing compliance, it's mainly about using all the software within the legal and contractual terms and conditions or obligations. Security compliance, to ensure that the policies of software are consistent with security policies and plans. Policy and procedure compliance, on the other hand, ensure that the SAM policies are consistent with the corporate policies, strategies, and plans. If we begin with this topic, compliance is mainly achieved by configuring, acquiring a genuine copy of a software product according to the copyright. It should be in accordance with license terms and conditions of the copyright holder or the software manufacturer. Therefore, the, the organization which used this software should be able to prove that compliance through the available documentation at the time of the audit, for example, a purchase document or a purchase proof. Compliance need to be enforced by having proper processes, procedures by which the software publisher or their resellers and representatives will ensure compliance with their licenses, agreements, and terms and conditions of use. And they may do this by doing periodic audits or checking for other documents of licenses. Therefore, a licensing program should, uh, or a compliance program for licensing of software should address compliance with the use of all software in the organization in relation to legal and contextual terms and conditions. And it should include the following, such as identifying, alerting, capturing, and resolving all exceptions, uh, conditions and non-conformance uh, relating to the use of unlicensed software. It can be done by identifying, reviewing all changes in the software within the company, ensuring that they are within the current licensing agreements, uh, also intercepting any SAM abnormalities recorded by the service desk or by incident management, security management, release management, deployment management, or any other IT service management process. There should also be interception and detection of any unapproved software purchases, and escalation or feedback are required for the, so that there can be investigation or initiation of reactive and remedial actions related to software licensing. So it can be quite a tedious task to uh, do the licensing compliance. Security compliance, on the other hand, it is about to make sure that software policies are consistent with the organization's security policies and plans. For example, all security patches are being applied promptly to all the relevant equipment. Then we have the policy and procedure compliance, uh, which is about uh, being consistent with the corporate policies, meaning the, the SAM, uh, the work should be uh, in line with the corporate policy strategies and plans. Therefore, we could include things like um, um, uh, communicating to the employees, what are the consequences of non-compliance? For example, a loss of job may also be possible by, um, int by intentional misuse of software. And there should be also a certain cost justifiable preventive mechanisms. For example, there should be prevention of unauthorized downloads of software from the internet, and also maybe prohibiting attachment of certain file types to emails. Next, we have a lot of compliance myths. These are really interesting. The first one we see here at the top left is, Sam will cost me money, I will ignore it. Then we have the second at the top, we buy from a reseller, they ensure we are compliant, so I don't have to do this at all. Third one at the top right, I want to decide what software is needed for my department. If we have centralized software asset management, I will lose control. The fourth one below here left, if it was really important, we would have focused on it and know what to do, but we haven't. Then we have, if I pretend that I don't know what it is, I don't have to worry about it. And lastly, it is cheaper to pay the fine if I'm audited. These are quite interesting, aren't they, these myths? And they are self-explanatory. Then we have the SAM non-compliance uh, items, which are 
um, downloading uh, software from the internet that may lead to non-compliance, software in a bundled package without licenses, counterfeit software like illegal ones. Then we have on the right side, we have unauthorized copy of commercial software, hard disk loading. We look at these terms in more detail afterwards. Inaccurate documentation or copying a legally licensed software program in violation of its licensing agreement known as soft lifting. Hard disk loading, it is, for example, when you buy a laptop, let's say, it comes with a preloaded operating system like Windows, but then if it is done illegally, like preloading the Windows in an illegal manner, that is called as hard disk loading. 